Now be careful, Charles. Mrs. Kane. And pull your muffler around your neck, Charles. Mrs. Kane, I think we should have to come in now. Yes. I'll sign those papers now, Mr. Thatcher. Your people seem to forget that I'm the boy's father. It's going to be done exactly the way I've told Mr. Thatcher. If I want to, I can go to court. Father has a right to. Mr. Kane, the certificates left here by Mr. Graves were left out to Mrs. Kane in her name. Hers to do with as she pleases. Well, I don't hold with signing my boy away to any banker guardian just because we got into some money. I want you to stop all this nonsense, Jim. The bank's decision in all matters regarding his education, places of residence, and similar subjects will be final. The idea of the bank being the guard. I want you to stop all this nonsense, Jim. We will assume all control of the Colorado load, of which I repeat, Mrs. Kane, you are the sole owner. Where do I sign, Mr. Thatcher? Right here, Mrs. Kane. Mary, I'm asking you for the last time. Anyone who thinks I haven't been- The sum of 50,000 a year is to be paid to you and Mrs. Kane, as long as you both shall live, and thereafter to the survivor. As long as it's for the better. It is. Why I can't raise my own boy is more than I can understand. Everything else? The principal, as well as all monies earned, is to be administered by the bank in trust for your son, Charles Foster Kane, until his 25th birthday, at which time he is to come into complete possession. Charles! Go on, Mr. Thatcher. Well, it's almost five, Mrs. Kane. Don't you think I'd better meet the boy? I've got his trunk all packed. I've had it packed for a week now. 